we see tail of the tape. We've got a height and reach advantage for Cuckoo. Binder being Here's a little bit small. Here's in the welterweight division is scheduled three rounds of five minutes. Referee is Mr. Philip von Heusden. The welterweight debut to go with a heavy hitter, true welterweight, is uh, it's a good way to start. Judge, 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 time ready, fight ready, fight ready, fight! We have liftoff. We can already see Cuckoo's arm movements. You can kind of, you start to test the bubble a little bit when you move your arms like that. Like, so it, is, it is more intentional, especially Raymond Daniels does it. You see it a lot, you start to feel the space a little bit. And you can punch from below the peripheral like you see here. Nice cop kick there for Cuckoo. Must be a new feeling for Binder to, to not be the taller fighter mm. in the cage. It's a nice jab from Cuckoo there. One of the great myths in fighting is, quote, always keep your hands up. It's not true. It's, it's a novice truth. At the high levels, you can invite people to attack you, move your head and punch from beneath. There are real advantages. Of course, dangerous as well, but true advantages for high level, for people on, on verges of mastery to have fight with their hands down. It's a good leg kick from Kuku, and I love the way he made Binder miss with his low kick. Beautiful, just a little Great move. Show, show and pull. And Binder at the minute is looking a little lost with the struggle mm -hmm. of Kuku um, striking. The distance. He's just not able to establish his range yet. Struggling to get inside. Oh, good calf kick, and Binder had his leg flat on the, on the floor. He, he pushed through it immediately after, because the calf kicks are actually urging him to get deeper in. Binder ate that with barely a blink, but you know he felt it. He sure did. You don't want to eat another one of those knees, though. No. But you could, you could see it looked like Binder was starting to try and close the distance yes. to go for a throw or take down. you got to close the distance or your calf, two, three more of those, one more on the calf, and now you're compromising your ability to move and punch. So you got to get in, but you start getting in and you eat a knee. It's, it's, a, it's a good start for Cuckoo, man. He's got him bleeding too. Cuckoo is not moving like a man who's almost 38 years old. Looks good. Turning sidekick. Should if, on the nights where Cuckoo's hands are down and he gets laid out, people will often use that as evidence that you should always keep your hands up. But the things that work for him work because he doesn't always keep his hands up. So it's a very it's a risk reward scenario. <laughs> He's had some discipline issues in the past, didn't always train to fights at late notice, but when he fights disciplined like this, he's a very good fighter. Bender, the, the overhead right to left hook, that's getting a little deeper now. He's starting to, starting to find the depth he's got to operate out here. It's a different one against the welterweight, too. That blood you see on his chest probably came from the impact of that knee. And that was a vicious right that just missed Kuku. There, it's a, that's a good choice at a good moment. Oh, beautiful slam takedown. Yeah, we like the high amplitude stuff around here. And Kuku went to base with his arms. You can break your arm real easy doing that. Fortunately, that's not the case here. Takes the back here. Binder's got still a minute and a half to work from here, and this is where we all expect to have him to have the advantage over Kuku. He's using his head to try to control the arm. Now he's lacing the leg and extending it straight. He's trying to get that yeah. push right and trying to get Kuku flat so he can start throwing. He does have the wrist. See the left wrist is being controlled by the left hand. Yep. Close, close three or four minutes of the round, but it's presumed unless Cuckoo uh, gets up and does some damage, you, you would think that this is going to let Binder be definitively the victor of, a, of an otherwise close round. Especially if he can just two, three, four punches in 40 seconds is going to be pretty definitive. Maybe some knees here to the thigh. It will definitely get, give 
Binder a lot of confidence for that second round. The moment he got in close, he got the takedown, but the problem is getting in close. Yeah. Past that unorthodox striking style. You don't know what's coming. And Kuku landed some big shots on, uh, on Binder on his way in multiple times, yeah. But Binder's now gonna be getting him to carry the weight and put pressure on the spine and maybe slow him down ever so slightly. If he hasn't been training, like Stefan said, sometimes he's, he's all in and sometimes he's not all in. If, if Cuckoo is not all in right now with his training, he'll slow down as a close round. Binder's face is all sorts of bloodied up. Looks like he's been through a little bit of a beat grinder. All is here. Cuckoo, look at me. Are you back? Nu weer op de hoop. Iets laag en nu gaan we iets meer die schuin opstoot. Nu gaan we met de donuts toe. Ref just yeah. had a quick Google look up in this face, so no problems with bloodiness. Daniel Sharifi doesn't want any strikes to the head anymore. He wants him to aim for the chest. He wants him to yeah. bend his knees a little more and then throw the, the uppercut from there. Mm. Yeah, the head's moving, so, and, and aim for the chest sounds odd to people at home until you've had coaches work with you on that, it works. You start aiming for the chest, he's dropping down into it, he's moving into wrestling stance, through wrestling stance, and you start cracking chins when by throwing at the upper chest. Listen, yeah. and do what I told the dude. What the fuck did we come over here for? Come on. <laughs> Something there coaching there. Yes, yeah, some, some old school coaching right there. And then, then, you know your fighter, that's what Bender needs. He needs a guy to say, hey, what what did, what did we come here to do? We came here to, to throw down, throw some punches and get in and smash, you know? And that's that's good coaching if it's appropriate for your guy. Round two of three in this welterweight battle. I expect more pressure from Andreas Binder. Yeah, agreed. He was trying the leaping axe kick as a double knee. I need to stay disciplined though. Man, got a weird finger in the mouth or something. You see Binder just sort of adjusting, and then Cuckoo gave him a little glove tap, like whatever it was, I'm sorry. Yeah, that's, a, that's Andreas Binder. When he gets into the fire, and he'll throw one or two more than most. There it is. That's exactly what he's on. Round and pound from Binder. Looking for the finish here. But he stays in for an extra punch or two while moving his targets, but but throwing his weapons, that's when he does well. And now he's on top in a good spot. For the full amount. This is bad, bad times for Kuku here. Binder is an expert, and he's gonna punish Kuku. Yeah. And three minutes, 30 seconds, I mean, that's a long time to have the top position when you are, be the, quote, better than the guy on the bottom in this spot. Binder's taking his time, he's not rushing into positions. He's gonna dope mount him here. He doesn't want Cuckoo to explode out of the no. no, so he'll pin the hip here, but he can slide the knee over when he wants to. Like, it's like a dope mat. You're kind of when he turns his hips back towards you, you just settle. But he's not going to take it until he's tired, until Cuckoo's more tired. That's gone now. Back to side. Now, See how he knows he can mount here with his left knee, but then he won and so it crowds him again. He's wondering if Cuckoo's baiting him into the mount. Oh, but Cuckoo's got back into half guards. So they both kind of accept half guard simultaneously. Now he's thinking about the mount again, but... Maybe this is what Binder wants, though. Press him up against the fence. Yeah. It's a good option against a taller fighter. Now he's got both feet under control, pass and punch. Again, crowds the hip. Very smart. Now he can mount, and I think he will. No, still, that's a sensitivity, a tactile feeling that you know he's still got that strength in him to buck you off, so you don't get greedy, and you wait maybe the last minute you'll mount. Yeah, he's still two minutes of this second round left to go, and Binder is in full control here. Is this to his coach? 
Yeah, Owen Roddy, his coach, is looking up at the, at the video so he can get an extra angle to see where it is. And he'll tell him when it's time to mount, and maybe that time is. And maybe he won't. You know, maybe if, if he can do damage from the spot, he'll keep it. But maybe that final minute will be the time to take the mount, keep your hips heavy, and then throw punches. It's good head placement there by Binder to control the fight. Uh, now he's got a lock. No. Can he feed the, the right hand? He's got control of the right hand underneath. Looking for the back here. Can he use his head to open his man up. Big, big round here for Andre and Binder. Yeah, yeah, big, a violent round. Well, this is not lying and pride, <laughs> as they say. He is, he is doing damage. It's good elbows from Kuku here, though, from the bottom. Yeah, one of them landed, and you saw Binder almost flick back his eyes up like a rabbit in the headlights, and he felt it for sure. Yeah. 35 seconds now. Binder is bleeding badly. Maybe the elbow. Presumably the elbow. elbow. Wasn't there before. Well, the nose was bleeding a little bit, but he's, he's, he's gushing now. Yeah, the elbow cut him, I believe. It looks like it might be coming from the forehead. That's not going to bother him. But we'll I mean, he's Irish, right? <laughs> you know, they, they like their own blood. And now he finally gets the full mount bender, but with only five more seconds to go. Yeah, it's a little later than he might have than he might have wanted, I think. Give him the second round. That nose of Binder is bloodied and swollen. Yeah, and it isn't, yeah, there doesn't seem to be a cut. It's literally the nose. There's just something about, there's a, there's a ruggedness to an Irish fighter that gets to this stage of their career fighting tough people all the time. And Binder is a poster for it. I just love watching it. And then the flying axe kick attempt. I tell you what, though, when you look at Cuckoo's record, 14 and 17 and 1, yeah. I don't think there's a tougher fighter on the planet with that kind of record. No, no, 100%. And that's He's still very much in it in his third round. Could yeah. go every single way. Yeah, I think you could uh, make a pretty strong case for first round Cuckoo, second round Binder, and then you think if you think the judges saw it that way, this third round is completely open. So for grabs, you want to tell Cuckoo that he lost them both, I think. You want to tell him, we need you to kick this man in the head. We need you to like, kick him in the head or elbow his face off or something. Uh, and because Binder, you want him to win the round, you know you won two, you probably won one, riding at the end of one. Um, so well, let's win this round dominantly, which might lead to the finish. But C Cuckoo, you want to tell him we need a finish. On the feet, Cuckoo has made Binder look tentative in a way I've never seen him in his fights before. And it is a joy to watch Cuckoo strike. Fun, yeah, really fun. It's an artist. A nice oblique kick there by Kuka and a good short block on that calf kick. When you block like that and you connect with your foot to the calf, you could break your foot. Stutter step from Kuku. I'm not sure that was from Cuckoo, a little bunny hop. Yeah. It was, you know, he edited the knee halfway through the hop. I think he may have lost one of his lenses. Lying right in front of us here on the mat, on the red stripe. I think you're right. Something, something popped up in the air, but a, co a contact lens? Yep. It looks that way. They're, they're urging Andreas to go with uh, 3.30, you know, all, a little past 3.30 left in the round that he's got to get in and do a little damage and try to get this man back down again because Cuckoo's starting to have fun again. Yeah, you don't want to be playing this game with Cuckoo too long, but you also don't want to rush in, so very difficult for Binder what to do. Yeah. 
Change good defense though by Cuckoo. Can he lock his hands and finish? Yes, he does. And Cuckoo's looking for the guillotine here. Yeah, and he, he would try to use it to sweep. Ben is out. It's impossible to finish the guillotine when you are stuck against the fence like that. There's the, yeah, and there's the contact. There it is. Look at our camera team. Binder's got the back, though. Yeah. Smooth transition to the back. Can he finish with the rear naked? He's got two and a half minutes to make it happen. You wouldn't put it past him. So, of course, he wants to finish, but you got to prioritize this position. Yeah, we want either the back or the mount, back or the mount over and over. Don't, you don't want him to get up, which is what uh, Cuckoo did. And then you got to get him back down again. If you're Binder, and if you're Cuckoo, and he strips a leg. Binder's looking for those hooks. Drags him back down, puts him on his back. Good decision there by Binder. And he's looking for that mount to get a little bit more. This, this crowding position with like his shoulder turning the head one way and the hips the other, this has been working for him. So he's gonna ride this position. Last time he took the mount quite late. Maybe he'll go a little earlier this time. He's done a good job of breaking Cuckoo down. Oh, good arm by Cuckoo, but very into the mount. Very nice job by Andreas Binder. And now, Duncan just can to the end. And it's The speed Binder got that rear naked choke in, and what a finish at the end. Incredible fight by both men, though. Yes. Oh. Do you enjoy that one? Yes, very much. Kutu on the feet is a nightmare. And you saw the usually confident Binder struggle with that level of Impressivity and creativity on the feet, but when it hit the ground, the experience, the background of Binder really just pushed him over the line. And the grit. In the end, it paid off that he didn't rush in. When you fight someone like that, you don't know what's coming at you. Took his time. Broke him down and got the submission in a third round. Beautiful performance by Andres Binder. The grit to, to stay tough in it and in the fitness too. You gotta be fitter and more economical than your other guy, even though it's all a, a stressful path. But uh, yeah, very good fight and a great win. Still not 100% sold on Binder at welterweight. He looks a little undersized to me, and would he be able to do that to someone with less of less of a, back, less of a striking background, more wrestling? It's hard to know. I definitely would like to see him back at lightweight. I think with uh, a really good dietitian, some good discipline, he can make it. He, he would be really big at that weight class. And that does make a big difference. 100%. But let's not take anything away from Kuku. What a performance. And I'd love to see more of him in LFL. And here we go. Here's some of the takedowns already won the match for Binder. It's a good defense by Kuku until Binder got his hands locked. Kuku gave him the space. And he went. Mount and then beautiful, man. It was Every single move was perfect there by Binder. The man in the ref corner, Andreas Binder! Thanks for a great fight, gentlemen. Thank you. Andreas. How are you, my man? I'm doing good, brother. How about you? Oh, it's good to be back. It's been the longest fucking seven months of my life. And I'm just glad to be back doing what I enjoy doing, my man. I missed it so much. Yeah, we love watching you fight, man. There's just that, you can feel that will to win. That was a hard fight, confusing out in the space, like a rugged one. Uh, that's a hard way to make the money. Uh, but you just have that will to win. Yeah, like, I knew he'd be uh, very good on the feet. But like I said, I like to challenge myself and I'll fight. If he's a striker, I'll fight a striker. If he's a grappler, I'll fight a grappler. But at the end of the day, it's my first fight back in eight months. It's been a rough road for me. So I'm just glad to be back in here, putting SPG on the map again, SPG Charlestown, and just enjoy what I do. Yeah, man, we enjoy watching you do it, and we're thrilled for you to be back. Do you think welterweight is going to be where you're going to campaign now? Uh, is, this, is this a permanent move? Yeah, I'm, I'm going to stick up well to it. The lightweight court was, it was, it was easy the first time, but the last two times it's just been 
like nearly killing myself trying to make it and I don't mean like oh it's been rough but I mean nearly killing you're myself feeling like you're gonna die literally like very close to it and I just can't put my body through that ever again my health is more important than anything and I love this sport and I just can't put my career on standstill do you know no no we love having you here too and we're glad you're back just take it this is your time take a moment thank anybody you want uh, yeah, guys, look, I'm really, really grateful to Donovan, Andrew, all the boys having me back on LFL. Honest to God, it means the world to me because after again, you know, after missing weight twice, the lie weight, and then getting the doors open for me again just so I can compete. And all my coaches, all my training partners, they've been with, with me through all of this, what's been going on in the background. But most importantly, my beautiful family and friends, my mom, dad, and my dad, they've been all been part of my journey since I was seven years of age. And last, last but not least, all the Dutch fans, they're mad about fine. So look, the Irish love fine, and I'm, I'm, I hope you enjoy the show, and enjoy the show tonight. Thank you, congratulations, good to be back, happy for you, man. Andreas Binder. Lovely to hear from Andreas Binder there, and sounds like he's had a troubling time with his weight.